Today we are going to do some handwriting exercises but with a slight difference. So for this you will need a piece of paper and some pens or pencils. You could use gel pens, whichever you wish. You can do this along with me and you can pause the video if you need to. The first thing that we are going to do today is fold a piece of paper. Now this is something I would like you to try to do yourself without an adult helping because folding is an important skill that we need to practice. So make sure that those corners are lined up with each other and when they are lined up and perfectly neat you can squish that seam. Okay. And we're going to do the same again, match up the corners, try and do it as neatly as you can and squish that seam and then we're going to do it once more. Match up the corners and squish, then when you unfold you will have eight equal sized pieces. Now here I have got some mystery pieces of paper with some shapes on. I'm going to unfold one of them and then in that box we are going to fill that box with that shape. Let's have a go. Oh, good one to start with. This is a circle shape. Okay, so in that first box we are just going to choose a pen or a pencil and we are going to fill it with circles and they can be big ones or little ones. They can overlap or they can be on their own. Now that I've finished my blue circle shapes, I'm going to choose another. Let's see, what have we got here? Squares or diamonds, could be either way. We're going to do the same thing again. Oh, some zigzags. Zigzags, I'm going to do, you can do them in one continuous line or you could do these in lots of short zigzag bursts, a bit like lightning. Next shape, Ooh, it's like a little corner arrow. I'm going to choose, I think I'm going to choose red for this one. You can do these in any direction. You can do little ones, big ones, ones facing downwards. Now I've done my first four, I've got my circles, my squares, zigzags and then my little corner arrows. I'm going to turn my piece of paper around and I've got four more to have a go at. Let's lay them all out. I've got curly, waves, triangles, And loops. I wonder if you can have a go at these. I'm going to have a go and I'm going to speed it up so you can see what I'm doing really quickly but I think you get the idea now.
I have now finished my handwriting doodle exercises. You can see that I've tried to keep the size is mostly the same. Some of the shapes are a little bigger than others and some are smaller, which is fine. But with these ones in particular, the waves, I've tried to keep them all about the same height. This will really help with your handwriting strokes when we come on to that later on. But hopefully this is a bit of fun that you can have to practice those fine motor skills that you need when you are using your handwriting but it's a fun way to do it and it, it helps to calm you down as well. So you can choose some of your favourite pens or pencils and have a go at this at home.